hello everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel i know i haven't posted in like a month um to be honest life has just caught up with me um i'm back in the office now for like three days a week and after work <laughs> i normally am going to the gym so yeah just a little life update i actually hired a uh what's what's she called like a body composition coach i bit the bullet i joined the gym and I've been doing this program with her for like seven weeks now. Like it's going to be my seventh week this week. It's Wednesday. So I'm in my seventh week. Anyway. Um, and it's really exciting. Like I am so happy that I chose to do this. Because I for so long was just going around in circles. And I knew I had to actually do something practical about it. Rather than being sad about it. So yeah. Bit the bullet. Did that. Been doing that for a while now. And I'm so excited to see where this journey takes me. Yeah, that's a bit of a life update. Just been super busy, but like also don't know what I've been doing, if that makes sense. So sorry for not posting. Uh, no, I don't have a lot of people watching me, but you know, some people might be missing my videos. I miss editing them, filming them, like coming up with creative ideas and things like that. So in a way, I feel like I haven't had that like creative outlet. But I am bringing you an updated tanning routine, as you guys can tell by the title. I'm working with the Fox Tan again, and they've reached out to me during, like, kind of autumn winter time here in Australia. And they've actually come out with a self-tanner. Now, I live and breathe for self-tan, especially trying out new ones. I love it. And knowing, like, how good the Fox Tan's products are anyway when they came out with a fake tan i was like oh my god i have to try and luckily they actually reached out to me so i am trying this bundle here i actually can't remember what it's called so i'm just gonna leave it on the screen but it came in one of these beautiful pouches and the one that i got first i think with like all like the tanning oils and stuff in i accidentally broke like the clasp and i was so sad and it like makes for such like a good like makeup bag or toiletry bag um, so I'm so excited to have one with a uh, working clasp because I'm not going to be rough with this one, I promise. So, before we get started, um, I'm due for a shower and a scrub of my fake tan. I don't know if you can tell, but my neck is just going through it because I've, like, basically everywhere else, the fake tans come off really nicely. Like, I haven't had to have, like, a big, like, scrubbing session this was applied last week i tried out this tan um and i just wanted to make sure that i liked it and make sure that like what i was going to like be reviewing for you guys today was truthful and i don't really want to do a first impressions because it's a bit risky with a new tan i wanted to like know what to kind of tell you guys and yeah like just already know what i'm going to be talking about basically it's a bit hard to just go off a first impressions when you're filming a like review video I don't know what's happening with my hair um i actually was gonna wash my hair but i really can't be bothered so i think i'm gonna leave that till friday uh but i really need to straighten this bit because it's a bit i don't know what's happening uh so yeah i really really loved the tan um and i'm so excited to show you guys how it applies the before and after and everything like that so yeah uh keep on watching because the juicy part will be after this i'm going to have a shower scrub the rest of what's left shave um what else i'm just gonna wait a couple of hours just so like all my pores close and then we can fake tan so yeah stay tuned hello again um really unflattering lighting in my bathroom but this is the only place i could really set up maybe this is a bit better um, but this is the time when I'm going to be applying the tan. So these are the two products here. This is the Gradual Self Tan Face Serum and it has hyaluronic acid. So that's that one there. It comes with a really cute dropper applicator. It's so easy to use. And then the Fox Tan Fake Dark Tropical Self Tan Mousse. And this is tropical scented. I'm pretty sure it smells tropical anyway. Um, and the main ingredients that I really liked that I wanted to mention were green tea extract, coconut water, and aloe vera. So it's so hydrating for the skin, which is so important to me because I do this every week. Oh my God, the freaking, this is the ugliest thing. It's always in the way, but I molt like you wouldn't believe. So that is needed. Yeah. And then this is the mitt i put it back in here don't know why but it's so soft and 
Just showing you. It is good because like it doesn't come off your wrist. Sometimes when I'm using like those ones with the really big like thing for your wrist here, it like it's like not as secure or it, and it like slips off. This one's really secure and it has a thumb. Always get one with a thumb. It's so much easier to use in my opinion. But those are the products that I'm going to be showing you today. Now, this is the country in this. This will be my post hand outfit. Um, but I'm going to start off by moisturizing. I literally just use a basic moisturizer. Um, and do my elbows, my knees, my ankles, and my feet. Because they tend to get a bit dry. Um, sometimes I even do like under my arms. Just depending on how dry they are. Now, I did try and get most of my old fake tan off. But there are remnants. Look, I can never get my skin 100% clean. <laughs> Does that sound disgusting? Like, even when I get out of the shower, I don't like to be super harsh on my neck. So, I use, like, an exfoliating mitt on most of my body. And then if I've got, like, a bit left over on my neck when I get out of the shower, I'll use, like, either a micellar water or, like, a toner and just go in with a cotton pad and just, like, gently get the rest of it off my neck. And that usually works, like, pretty well. But, yeah. Let's get on with it. I'm about to look a bit less put together. I'm just going to wear a bikini. Okay, so I just chucked on a super old bikini and we're going to get started. But I just wanted to show you the before color. I am extremely pale. This is me when like literally all of my tan is off. Um, I'm just going to show you how I apply it. I don't know if I should do this in like no talking or to talk you through it. Um, I guess I'll just talk you through it. So, I'm gonna put on my moisturizer. And look, you don't wanna be like covered in moisturizers, so, or else the tan won't stick. Um, so I literally just do like my dry areas. I honestly think I missed like majority of my legs when I was shaving. Oh, you know when like moisturizer dries? It's a bit crusty. Oh my God, I look like a mess. I'm I promise I'm a bit more put together than this when I do my tan usually. A bit of pressure filming it. But like see here, it's so hard to get tan off this part. So especially in winter, I don't really care if I don't get heaps of tan off, but just make sure your skin is as exfoliated as you can get it because then you'll get the best results. Putting on the mitt and then always kind of like shake your mousse um, obviously because it settles, everyone probably knows that. I'm really bad with like making my tans leak, um, but it's because I'm, yeah. cool, I just got it all over my bathroom tiles. So, this is how it comes out. I just do a few pumps, especially on my legs. So, this is so unflattering, but I literally just pop it on like so oh my god the smell i can't even explain to you how nice it is to have a tan that doesn't stink like tan so i'm just applying some more to my leg and i'm going to come back and show you how i do like my top half that might be a bit easier to film actually but i'm just rubbing it in circular motions of my legs um and then i'll like obviously go off camera to do the rest of like my body um but yeah i'll come back and show you when i do my chest and my arms but look at the difference already like i've done up until here obviously but you can see already how dark the color is with this one bit of underboob there we go i'm actually gonna pop like a before and after picture anyway just to show you guys the actual difference when it has fully developed so probably later tonight what's the time 1 47 so i'm thinking i'm going to be finished this at like two three four five six seven maybe just before i go to bed um and then i'm going to wash it off and i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after i've showered um but let's apply it to my arms and my chest so I'm just going to start and like kind of smear it. And then I just start rubbing it in like circular motions. Especially like around the wrists 
and your elbows you really want to get like in the cracks <laughs> My back, guys, I'm useless putting tan on my back, so I never really do it. Unless I really have to, I'll get someone else to do it for me. I've never figured out a good way to do it without, like, literally injuring myself. Like, I feel like I tear a muscle if I try to do it myself. But, yeah. So, again, just all, like, circular motions. Honestly... My armpits always come out disastrous, um, no matter what tan I use anyway. I think they're just super dry, so especially this one, I didn't get all the tan off from last week. But oh well, you live and you learn. But like, look at that difference already. How insane is that? I'm scared like a boob's gonna pop out, but we won't talk about that. I'm not sure if I wanna do my chest, yeah, or my other arm, but we'll just do my chest. Just so you can see the color like literally transform. I love how it's not like green or orange, like it's a really nice, well, it's like an olivey color, I guess. Just gonna be a bit cheeky and just do my whole boob. Even if you think that you've done a bad job, nine times out of 10, the guard layer will come off in the shower and you'll realize that you actually did a pretty good job. So I've just got this arm to go and you can already see how much of a difference in color there is. I don't know why it's showing up like that on camera, but this is like blended. I think my boob area is a bit dry. Anyway, I if stuff happens like that, I'll go in with like a buffing brush and literally just buff it out, especially on my neck. I'll just buff it out. I mean, the lights aren't doing me any favors either. Alrighty, let's do this arm off camera and I'll come back and show you how I do my face. As you can see, I've gotten dressed. So I just finished tanning the rest of my body. I thought I would show you how I tan my hands quickly as well. Um, so I forgot to put, put moisturizer on beforehand but it's beforehand that's really important especially on your hands because they can go super dark like i'm sure you've seen the horror stories of people's hands just going orange and just so much darker than their body my hair looks so good um so yeah i just make sure to get in all like the knuckles and especially like this part here i find that goes really dry so i'm gonna pop the mitt on again and I take the smallest amount for my hands literally like a little uh, just like one little pump and then I just go in circular motions again and just make sure to get in like your knuckles especially like in the little bits like in between um, and then blend it down to your wrist as well if you get your nails done like me or you've got nail polish on or something like that. Um, I just go over them or like a bright color, whatever. So for example, mine are pink. Um, so they're definitely gonna stain, tan's definitely gonna stain my nails a little bit like every other tan does. Um, I just go over it with like either a makeup wipe or like a cotton pad. Why don't I just put my mitt on the hand that I'm gonna tan? Um, I was gonna say yeah with like a cotton pad and just go over my nails but let's just do the other hand and then i'm gonna do my face and then we're gonna be finished well not really i'll show you the result obviously when i wash it off i love sharing stuff like this because you literally don't have to go out in the sun to get a tan and i love that fox tan especially are doing this because they do sell both now so they give you the option i cleansed and toned my face before so my face is super clean i hope um i didn't use any moisturizer i don't know if you have to so it says our lightweight hyaluronic rich self tan serum is your real life filter it works hard to give your face a flawless bronze glow so you can ditch your foundation combat fine lines and plump your skin this is a gradual tan no this is a gradual serum dial it up or dial it down you choose your glow level 
babe. <laughs> I hate when I say that. It just sounds cringy. How to use. Use in the PM and wake up glowing. Apply two to five times per week to your face and neck until you reach your desired tan. Wash hands after use. I actually will use my hands. I feel like it's a bit more control. If I was going to just use the mousse and the moisturizer like mixed in together, I would use a brush. But because, sorry, I just wiped my nose. So that's why my nose is a bit red. Um, because this does come with a dropper, it's a bit easier to navigate. So I'm going to, I haven't mastered like the right amount of drops yet. Um, but I'm going to do two, like, I'm going to do three to five drops and see how we go. So you literally just one, two, three, four, five. So it actually goes in the cracks of my fingers. I noticed this last time. So make sure you do wash your hands or else you'll have like fake tan hands where you really don't want it. I mean, it is gradual tan, so it's not that big of a deal. Then you kind of just want to blend it down. Make sure to do your eyelids. Sorry, that was a bit of a fast-tracked tutorial on that, but I don't have a bench near me, so I had to quickly drop it and then put it down. But yeah, so just make sure that's all rubbed in, especially in your hairline and like around your nose. Sorry, the lighting's gone a bit weird. But like I said, that's a gradual tan so it won't show up straight away but trust me it does show up so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna check back in with you later i don't know what my camera is doing um check in with you a bit later when i'm going to wash my tan off and show you the results hello guys i just finished showing my hair it's currently like 7 30 um and the tan's been on for like roughly five and a half hours i'm gonna say because i like put this on it started probably applying it at 1 30 so it's been like nearly six hours but the tanning drops have been on as well for a while i'm gonna cleanse my face when i get out of the shower um but i just thought i'd check in and just show you how much the tan like has developed like even on my hands you can tell i put too much tan on this hand so this one's a bit lighter as well um but my face i'll try and show you like a bit of lighting i don't know where that is because of the light i mean okay it's not doing anything is it it's still not showing you like the true color i think that's the bad thing about doing it not in natural lighting um but you can tell i'm a lot darker than i was earlier today so i'm gonna jump in the shower my advice for the shower of like washing your guard layer off is literally like 30 seconds or when the water one when the water runs uh clear is when you want to like get out of the shower and you want the water lukewarm you don't want it like scalding hot and obviously like a cold shower is very enjoyable um so that's what i recommend but after that i just put on a moisturizer and just make sure everything's like yeah moisturized and keeps everything intact i am not someone who sticks to moisturizing their body every single day after they tan i definitely do it on the first day um like when i initially wash it off but i'm really lazy and i'll sometimes just put it on like my dry areas like my elbows and knees and stuff but let's jump in the shower and then i'll show you the actual like final result of the final color okay i'm out of the shower now and i've gotten dressed in my pjs i moisturized my full body and this is probably the best lighting to show you i'm going to put a before and after photo anyway here um but i did just cleanse my face that's why some of the color might have gone um but it's still super bronze like it's not as bronze as my neck because i didn't use the mousse um but the like serum just makes your face look really naturally like glowy like i don't know if you can tell like excuse all my spots but it just looks like fresh, even though the heat is on and I'm going to be red. But this is the after color. After my shower, after the guard layers come off, it's just a beautiful like olivey tan. And that's what I really, really love about it. Um, I don't know if there's even like a better way to show you. Just excuse the messy bathroom. But even my legs, like they're really nicely tanned. And my elbows didn't go too dark. I mean, it's my fault because 
I'm not good at tanning my elbows. So yeah, that is how the tan turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, <laughs> this is the end of the video. If you want to shop the Fox Tan Fake Tan or any of their products, I'm going to leave the links down below, uh, as well as like the link to the specific bundle that I used. But yeah, this was a really fun video to film. I hope like my personality comes through in these videos because I know that some can seem like really robot when people get like scent products to review and things like that. Um, but I'm just taking you on my tanning routine. Like I tan every week, like I said. So this is like really natural for me. And I hope after like five plus years of fake tanning, I kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, and my tans like nine, nine times out of 10 come out pretty perfect which I am really happy about because I get sad when my fake tan is bad. So yeah, that's it. And thank you so much to Fox Tan for sending me these products. I love working with them and their products just impress me every time. I hope to catch you guys in my next video or whatever that will be. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, goodbye.